we're chaotic, we're stupid, someone thought it was a good idea to give us a microphone, and you are listening to the results. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm your host, Desperado, and today I am joined by Naira, Doki, Rev, and the one and only Turtle, who has decided to grace us with their presence once again. Uh Oh, hello. (laughs) Did I walk in on something? Maybe. No, he took me by surprise. You caught him off guard. Yeah. (laughs) It was like, and the one and only turtle. It's like, oh, uh, Remember, what? Turtle just woke up. He's not 100%. I definitely wasn't playing Balloon's Tower Defense. <laughs> I'm awake now. I have awoken. He has awoken. And I'm here. In, in the black void. Of what is my computer room. And yes, Turtle actually does have a face. He's not actually a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my dreams listen. Never true. He could be a turtle, and this is just his human skin. That's true. That's true. Oh, you mean like the you mean like X and the lizard people? Yeah, this is just my human costume. So we actually did manage to snag both Naira and Rev in an episode. It's unheard of. It's crazy. No, it's not. No, it's not. Last 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 podcast, session we were, we were both, both here, and yeah, we've been in at least one other one together too. Tr- yes, but I think it's more unheard of that. Originally, we were only able to get one person or the other, but we ended up getting both of you for this specific session. I think there's only one session that I haven't been here for. I think there's one or two. If I, I, there's I, only one that I, I've not been here for. I edit these and I can't remember, so... That's fair. There was the one that Cal was in that I didn't get to make, and I was sad. I wanted oh. to be in the podcast with Cal. Yeah, that one was, what, mm. me, Cal, Despa, and Dave Man? I believe so. I think so. That was the finale for last season, which we're we're not do away doing with. seasons anymore. <laughs> this is episode seven. Yes, <laughs> we think so, thereabouts or something. We think maybe episode seven, maybe it question is, mark. We did name this podcast correctly. I feel so. Yeah, we're ringing it. <laughs> Chaotic, stupid. Yeah, you're right. So I guess the first order of business would be to see what everyone's been up to, what you've been doing, what you've been playing, how things have been going in your corners of the world. I'll go first this time, I guess. Um, I just recently moved. To the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. (laughs) To the Mushroom Kingdom. (laughs) For the audio listeners, Rev's background is a mushroom forest right now. Like purple giant mushrooms and trees. Dancing mushrooms. She left Earth and I don't blame her. <laughs> right? Honestly. Um <laughs> but uh no, I recently moved. Uh I got a couple of roommates now. Be hard to live on your own <laughs> these days. Life Word. do be hard. Life Life do be hard. hard. <laughs> it do be, it do be hard, yeah. Can agree. Once I start streaming again, I'll probably get back into the Final Fantasy scene. Um, because I still have to finish the seven remake. I'm like this close, I think, to beaten it and then there's the stranger of paradise like pre prequel game and then 16 just recently came out and i want to get into that too oh uh story of seasons i've been playing that and uh the new legend of zelda i've been playing that and i play all the games <laughs> where where is raider when you need him it's like that lift him from like five games constantly to like Didn't raider mention last and, time and i still play world of warcraft <laughs> Rev's gonna be playing and 50 games there's a comic book cover that reminds me of when there's a green lantern comic cover when hal jordan goes crazy and starts taking all the lantern rings, and he's just doing this with everybody's lantern rings on his finger. It's just like Rev with all the games in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> got, point we, got, we got Rev snorting now. <laughs> or or, or like Rev is like the, the freaking infinity gauntlet, but each gem is a game. <laughs> <laughs> we have to figure out how to add it to her voice. I have a feeling. Um, by the end of this podcast, there might be one more added to that list because of the game I want to talk about later, but we'll talk about that later. Oh, I'm sure. There's multiple upcoming oh games, actually. <laughs> one more too many to the games pile. coming out this year. And Squidney, uh, who is uh, one of my roommates, and then Squidney. our other roommate are playing Lord of the Rings online, and they're wanting me to 
get in on that too. That's, so that's, that's still that a ancient? thing. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, yeah. God damn! Like you all gonna that. start playing like Dark Age of Camelot now too? Like, well, I've never even heard of that one. Dark Age of Camelot, I think, was pre WoW. I need wow. to ask, what wow. has Turtle been up to? Because wow. it's been a while since we've had you on. <clears throat> hey yo, me your boy Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yep, getting a girlfriend is, uh, makes me really busy. I do play games sometimes, so lately I guess I've been playing, uh, Diablo, and now Boulder's Gate is out, so that's when he's taking a lot of my time. Oh yeah, you, you, you completely blew by me and Rev when it came to Diablo. We're just like, well, Turtle's way the fuck gone that way. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I guess I didn't even really finish. I got to level 60, I think. Oh yeah, you know, you didn't get very far at all. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't hit level 100 or anything. <laughs> and then like the season came out. Season came out on level 61. I, I'm still very disappointed in that game. I I don't think it's a good game. I think it's a bad game. I think it's poorly designed when you compare it to the other ones. And I have very strong feelings about the game. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I play it just to play it because it's Diablo and I like Diablo and I want to finish the season. Because I got it for free with the deluxe or whatever. But I think it needs a lot of work. I think the game is good for casual players. And that's it. Man, look at us filthy casuals. Yep, filthy, filthy casuals. casuals over here. <laughs> that's why I don't play it. Because I'm just filthy. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I got to level 60 and I stopped playing because I was bored. Um, there was a thing that was happening the past week called the People's Call Center. Which, if you're familiar at all with anybody like, you know, Scammer Payback or Trilogy Media or even Kit Boga, who literally sit there and call, you know, scammers all day just to waste their time and to save victims and, and whatnot. They, what, what it is, is once a year they put out a week to have a whole bunch of them. There were like 10 to 12 of those scam baiters all in one room. They made it like a little call center for all of them to just kind of sit and just call scammers all week and just slam them while also saving victims. They also had a guy from any desk there to get these scammers IDs and ban them on the spot so they can no longer scam victims with those IDs anymore. Nice. Like I know Naira saw a bunch of them uh, as well because I, t <laughs> I told her about it and she's like, yes, those are the real heroes. Not for all real. heroes wear capes. I think they banned a uh, close to like 1800 any desk IDs or something like that. Any decks, you got to say it right. Oh yeah, any any decks. Any decks. Open any up decks. the any decks. Yeah. You've got a you have a virus. It like with that like they they are actually saving people. With mm -hmm. the amount of people that get scammed, they will call these people back if they can find the the victim's phone number. And they'll like say, we're going to pay you your money back that they stole from you. At the same time, though, it's such a small fraction of like people who are actually scammed every day. So that's something to keep in mind. Too. It is still better than nothing. And there's a lot of people out there doing it as well. It just shows how rampant the problem is right now with that. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I think everyone here has gotten at least one scam call within the last week. Yeah. I haven't actually. Uh, I get like two a day. I've gotten lucky somehow. <clears throat> I've been getting somebody calling me asking me about selling my property and I'm like I don't even own a property that's a scam I have one of those too it keeps text messaging me yeah well and what's funny though is they'll be calling about my best friend's house which she doesn't even own that house it's a government house which Listen, makes it even if, more hilarious if they message you again about your property you should just reply back with like you can't take my par park place I'm trying to get boardwalk <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no. So this is the thing is like, they will not actually speak to me when they call. And I, if I am able to answer, then they hang up on me. But if I don't answer, they leave me a voicemail, which is weird. I get like bonus by volume or something. Question. Is it an mm. automated voicemail? I can't tell. It, if probably, it's it probably is. Cause here's the way that those things work. I watch these, these scam baiter people like, all the time like it's one of my favorite things to watch on youtube i've found out and it may not be true for everything but it is a a common thing that a lot of people that call and will talk to you 
are the ones from India. The ones that will either email you or blatantly don't want their voice to be heard or use automated things are usually like Nigeria. We all remember the Nigerian prince scams back in the day. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it, it is a thing that they do not want to be heard. Where the Indian call center scammers, they don't give a fuck. They'll just call you and try and lie out of lie you out of your money. Jokes on them. I don't have any. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry, you calling the wrong person. I was hoping you can give me some of that. <laughs> um, well, with me, uh, game wise, I've actually been off stream playing Rust. Um, just getting back into Destiny Two, which realizes I got so much money to spend on DLCs to get caught back up on that game and actually be able to play the new content, which sucks. Stream wise, I've actually been doing Dagon Rampa recently. We did Tiny Tina's yesterday, and yesterday in stream, by bad luck with stuff, hit again. So as we were doing Tiny Tina's, I was chilling out. I actually, I'm, if you notice, I'm not leaning back. There is a reason for that. So as I kind of leaned back, I stretched, and I just heard this loud crack. And well, back of my chair is completely broken. Is this That's... is this the Cooler Master chair? Yes. Okay. <sighs> It's eight months old. Fuck Cola Master. He's, yeah, she he's... she has the worst fucking luck with anything oh I've God. ever seen in my life. No, no, it's like those animes where the character like can't touch electronics with their bare hands or this like breaks instantly. <laughs> that's the funny part. This is not even an electronic. This is I just know, some busted shit. I know, I know, but that's just what it makes me think of. It's just so tomorrow when I get paid. I am going to bite the bullet, and I am putting in an order for a Secret Labs chair, because I am fucking done with these cheap chairs. I'm going to save up the money for that really sweet-looking Diablo chair. I know! Me <laughs> oh my god! god. Oh. Well, I'm not, I, 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 well, as I've stated with Diablo before, and I played Diablo 1. I was a huge Diablo 2 player back in the day when it was relevant. Like, I Me played too. the living hell out of it, and... When I played three, I couldn't get into it. And I think that actually affected my opinion of four, even before playing it. It's like, no, three was just not good. And then I hear Turtle talking about how it's also not good. So it's just, I really have no will to even play it. So I'm not going to buy expense, buy a Diablo chair for a game I don't even care about. Well, the ch- regardless of the game, the chair just looks sick, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, it really does. It just <laughs> looks Honestly, that's cool. why I'm buying it. The one I'm buying, to be fair, is not a game I play. I've played a whole lot of but i absolutely am in love with the design so i'm buying that one is it the cyberpunk one? Oh, it's the league of legends one in it i'm buying the jinx chair yeah okay oh my god because it's fucking amazing i like the colors <laughs> yes i wouldn't, I wouldn't the, buy the it just for the sole reason of it being late league of legends no i'm buying it because i really love the design on it honestly honestly if i i was looking at them earlier today when we were talking about that I really like the Dead Mouse one too. The Dead Mouse one is really good too. So was the Imperial one, but as Penny stated, who is my uh, my RL partner or whatever, um, it looks like a Death Star Death Star office chair. I'm like, yeah, you, like, That's you know what? Right. It does. So I'm gonna go with the uh, Jinx one. I'm pretty sure the Cyberpunk one I love, but it's just too much yellow, and it just clashes yeah. with like everything else going on with my setup. Because all my setup, everything on my setup is purples and some blues and pinks, and you know, it's all that color hue where a bright yellow chair would just not work with it. I would have bought the Diva chair, but they don't have it anymore. Yeah, they don't have the Harley Quinn one either. <clears throat> I like the, the Harley Quinn. The Diablo chair is secret lab. Uh, I want that one too. So bad. I love the back of it. Oh, the back of that Diablo chair is just gorgeous. So yeah, my hope is I get the order in tomorrow and by Monday I have a new chair. Until then I just deal with this busted thing because I don't really have a choice to do anything else. Could always get a cinder block. There's an Assassin's Creed chair? We lost, lost Rev. Rev. <laughs> we totally lost Rev. But yeah. She's, she's, she's about as gone as those mushrooms. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, though, I've been doing on stream Dag and Rompa. We did Tiny Tina's last night for Doki's affiliate anniversary. Yay. Um, we'll probably be going back to that. Uh, Gotham night scenes have been left in the dust, which is, I guess, okay. Um, I might, we might pick it up back up eventually. Yeah. There's a lot of things I'll need to pick back um, up I want to do Danganronpa. So I'm trying to say this through all three Danganronpa or four Danganronpas. Yeah, there's Danganronpa uh, one, then there's two, three, which is 
Killing Harmony, I think, and then Ultra Despair Girls. Yeah, so I'm going to run through all four of those. And after that, I'm actually going to queue up. I'm going to do a I'm going to do something really stupid and do a destiny run from start to finish because I got to delete one of my current characters to do it. But that's going to eventually happen, too, because the single player story is actually pretty good on it. I will say that. I will say I, I, because I forgot to actually mention this on, on mine is that I did finish uh, Rain Code, which we had talked about in uh, previous podcasts. Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I did finish that. How was it? I think that is the only game I've ever streamed where you can literally see me getting emotional on my camera. Oh, to the moon. Uh, like voice was shit. Well, yeah. To the, well, that was on YouTube. I never actually played to the moon on stream. But you still got but, emotional on camera. But I did. No, my like, God. Rain code was so good, but boy, did it tear at your heartstrings. I might need to play this. You get you'll get attached. That's all I'm going to say. You, you'll know. get attached. I'm pretty cold hearted when I need to be. So oh, that's right. You're a robot. We are. It's fine. That's super precious, though. I like that. Yeah, like literally, I was just sitting there paying attention to the story and uh, Asu or Asuna, who is trans gal gaming, uh, was literally in my chat going, I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was in voice chat with her during that. And yeah, she was she was like fucking destroyed by that story. Not going to lie. She was destroyed. Like, I'm not OK. That's still good game. It's like, well, we all have uh, our favorite games that we love, but no, no, no game's perfect. So is there anything about your personal favorite top tier 100 percent love it to death game that you would change if you could? If you could wave a magic wand and have that one thing changed. What would it be, and would you do it? Oh, man. Um, that's even my favorite game. Okay, let's yeah, have that discussion then, too. That, that's where <laughs> I'm at, too. I'll start. I'll start. I'll, I'll start with this one to help roll us in. My favorite game, it's a game called Cross Code. A little PC game that I probably never would have played if my GPU hadn't died in 2020, and it took me over a year to get a new one. Oh, that's like the worst time for that to happen, too. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's looking like we might be going back to that. I don't want to talk about it. Crosscode is like a 8-bit game. Well, it's not really 8-bit, but it's in that style. So a freaking toaster of it could run that game just fine. So like Doom? Yeah, kind of. So I played that and fracking fell in love with it. Fell in love with it, the world, the characters, everything. It is the, the best game ever. 10 out of 10, hands down. It took me over 80 hours to beat it. There's actually two things I would change, but... Probably the biggest one. They're both about the ending. The end of the game, a thing happens. I was going to say, do you want to spoil the game for people? I'm going to try or? to dance around the spoilers here. Oh, okay. A thing happens that doesn't really fit with the tone of the game. If you've ever played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you ever choose to play this game, you'll know it when it happens. I would change that, but also I would change the last boss because... The mid-game boss of this game, the whole mid-game section, it takes the game from like a 9 to a perfect chef's kiss 10 out of 10. And then the last boss of the end of the game does essentially the same gimmick, but it just doesn't work the same way there. I would change up the last boss a bit. Other than that, I don't want to say anything else because I'll be venturing into spoiler territory for what is easily the best game ever made. And I'm stepping down from my soapbox now. Thank you for coming to Despa's TED Talk. I've never heard of that game. Never Good, heard play of it. it. Everyone play it right now. <laughs> Best game ever made. It's Damn, dirt, hang on, I'm it's dirt freaking cheap. Are you going to buy it for us all then? If I had the money, let's see. Hell, it's not that expensive. I think it's like... twenty one ninety nine Canadian. That would still add up, so I can't afford to buy it for all of you. Sorry. <laughs> I still haven't beat the DLC on it. I still need to go and play the DLC. All right. Thought about it hard. I think my favorite game, if I had to pick, is an MMO called Rift, because I put in over, just over 4,000 hours into that game. Great game. It was huge back when it was. It was supposed to be another, you know, quote-unquote wow killer, but, you know, never happened. I remember, and then I remember that. Ooh. Eventually, the game died out, and they sold it to another company, and now they just use it for money. So it's really unfortunate. I do remember it being the, the next the wow killer. And yeah, it, and like, I, I thought it was an amazing game. It had everything that wow had but just better it had so much hype too and then it just went 
That's a lot of those <laughs> games that did that. They, they went free to play instead of the paid subscription, and it was fine at first. And then the next expansion they released, everyone stopped playing, and it was like, please come back. Was the expansion just not any good? Or I thought it was good. I thought every expansion was good. All the boss and raid mechanics were awesome, but the community just died out because you know they ended up putting in like a shop and throwing money stuff in your face every time you log in. And oh, you know they were like logging in, like buy this skin, buy this weapon. Only five ninety nine. They had like mystery boxes to get like a rare mount, and one of my friends in my guild spent a thousand dollars trying to get it and still didn't get it. Mm. Oh, they turned it into a gotcha. Yeah, it was bad. Oh, that's like, that just, is really bad. I loved everything about the game, but the community died out. Everyone stopped playing, and they sold the company to someone else. So I cannot think of. Here's the thing: like my favorite game in game series is probably Pokemon. I can't think of a single change that I think would make the game better or that I would want to happen. I personally, this whole gimmick with Scarlet and Violet with the whole Terra type Pokemon where they turn into like crystal versions of themselves and have like the weird things on their head. I'm not a fan of that. I would probably prefer that they brought back like the mega evolutions. Yeah, I get that. I liked the mega evolutions a lot better. It was a lot more like it was understandable because it was just they didn't turn into fucking crystals. They just turned into like bigger and like better versions of what they were. <laughs> Like, that made more sense to me. Like, so they should have just come back with Mega Evolutions, in my opinion, and, like, just gave other newer Pokemon Mega Evolutions. You'd still have a newer thing with a gimmick that everybody else already knew and liked, rather than just turning them into little crystalline statues that change type based on whatever their Terra type is. Uh, I don't know. I love Scarlet and Violet. The Terra typing stuff was just really, eh, to me. That sounds like we're fishing for a gimmick and we don't really know what we're doing anymore. It's probably not far from the truth. Shh, throwing things at the wall and seeing which one sticks. Sounds about right. Sounds like a lot of companies nowadays. Listen, I still don't know what they were thinking when they made uh, Alolan Executor. <laughs> Fucking tall ass <laughs> palm tree <laughs> abomination. And on Pokemon Go, you can't even see its head. Yes. It's just also, a body. Also, that palm tree is a dragon and Charizard is not. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let, let that sink in. Charizard is fire flying, not a dragon. True. That big ass palm tree is a dragon. Okay. Well, I mean, there is Pokemons that are just literally a pile of gears or keys. So anything's possible, I guess. Or a shield or yeah, a sword clink and, or... Clink and clank. And then there's Klefki. And then, yes. Strawberry Magneton. shortcake. Oh, are you talking about... Uh, oh. Nicki Minaj. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, that one. It, it's got cream in the name. Uh, it's the, the, the there's yes. like 20 some different variations of the damn thing. The no ice. No, you didn't know that a lot of people call freaking Jinx Nicki Minaj. No, oh, I yeah. didn't know yep. that. Milk, milk creamy. I feel like I feel like we should move on. Yes. <laughs> I feel like this is kidding. Me. I feel like we should move on as well. Because, yes, this is uh, the Pokemon. It's it's based off of like a cream puff or something. It's called like Al Creamy or whatever. So, so, so Naira Rev, what what can you answer the question now? Please don't be a Pokemon. <laughs> so actually, that's a weird one for me because it's a split between two. Mm -hmm. And it's not really it's stuff I would change. But so first one, one of my all time favorite MMOs was uh, Star Wars Galaxies. I've said that multiple times. I played since beta, since the beginning of closed beta. So I actually beta tested this game to the days the server shut down, which was in 2010. And if that game came back, just came back in its original form or any of its incarnations i would be so happy because that game did stuff i've never seen in any other, any other mmo the other game this is why i said it was split is one of my favorite just rpg style games like one player games and that's the original resident evil in which the remaster while yes the graphics are better everything's better just one thing i would change on that game and that is to bring back the god awful voice acting from the original p playstation <laughs> release because that uh, to me it. The bad voice acting made that game what it was and made it so classic because as you're playing through and all of a sudden it's like, you almost became a Jill sandwich. <laughs> I know. It's great. It just, they should never mess with the voice acting. They should just left it bad because that became one of the charms of the game. Don't open that door. Yeah. What is this? Blood. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh my god, you just reminded me of like the original Resident Evil game. That was that that's was what I'm talking about. about. Yeah. <laughs> that's oh, the was remaster. Evil? Yeah, the remaster. They changed the voice actors. Like they redid all the voice roles and everything, and they fixed it so it felt more believable. But honestly, the bad voice acting was the charm of that game. I thought you were still talking about Star Wars Galaxies. No, I, I brushed over Star Wars Galaxies. I'm not going to get into a whole nother tirade, but that is about a sore subject to me as Firefly. But yeah, as far as Resident Evil, if they brought back or even just give us an option, original voice soundtrack, I would be mm-hmm. all over that in a heartbeat. I don't care because the original voice soundtrack to me, I mean, I played that game when it first came out on PlayStation. You know, that was the game. Mm. That was the game I remember. The voice acting in that game is what I remember about that game. And the remaster is just not the same because that voice acting is different. I don't know. I need that. I need that really bad voice acting in that game. I think it was part of the game's charm and part of the game's history at this point. I will say I do have a memory from the original Resident Evil game. When it came out as a kid, scared the living shit out of me. Yeah, I used to watch my brother play it. <laughs> I was yeah it, same thing I was watching my sister play it and it, she had like the all the lights were off like getting immersed in the game I was watching her play it and as soon as she was walking through that hallway and those fucking dogs jumped through the window oh god I <laughs> fucking screamed <laughs> I honestly have quite a memory of playing that game back in, you know, original PlayStation. I was a teenager at the time. My parents would go away for the weekend and I would stay home. And I remember it was like two o'clock in the morning. I'm sitting there playing Resident Evil, you know, empty house. And it's quiet because I'm just immersed in the game. And then I hear something in the house. And yeah, you want to talk about shitting yourself. That's when you really shit yourself because then you're like, what the fuck was that? And then you're getting up because now you're in this like Resident Evil mindset, you know, like looking for something. So you're just I mean, it could be something simple like the dog farted or something. But because you heard it and you're you're so channeled into that game, you're like, what the hell was that? Oh, God. No, this better not be happening for real. <laughs> Run into the fucking kitchen. How many fucking green herbs do I have? He <laughs> <laughs> said green herbs and some red herbs. Speaking of Resident Evil, because I do kind of want to segue to this. Despa, are there any that you have not played on stream? Okay. I've played the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Right. I Because I enjoyed watching you play those. So since I've only been streaming for a year, there's quite a few that I haven't played on stream. I've played the original Resident Evil 2. Uh, not on stream, just as a child. I did play the original three, but my copy of it was damaged, so it kept freezing up whenever you took com- oh. control of Carlos, so I never made it past that. What was that, on uh, PlayStation? or? Uh, yes. I want to get the four remake, but never played the original. I played five and six. I've played Revelations. I've played both Outbreaks. I want someone to play Revelations 2 with me, because... The multiplayer co-op on that game is awesome, but no one wants to play it with me. And I don't know why. Anyway. Uh, why well, can't get angry so about it? So aggressive. Because <laughs> I've had Just, it sitting. No one wants to play it with me. <laughs> might be a reason, Despa. <laughs> There's two games sitting in my Steam library that I have yet to play because I want to play them with someone because of the way their co-op is set up. It benefits from two people, but no one ever does. Say Revelations 2. Revelations 2. I think I have that. Oh, look. I have most of the I would play it if you will help me get every single achievement. Okay, yeah, um, I'm it. not into the <laughs> achievements. It's the thing. I, I play for the experience. Oh my god. Turtle's an achievement horror, so... You need to let me know when you play another Resident (laughs) Evil game, because I would love to watch that. I I enjoyed your 2 and 3 playthrough. I've actually given thought to replaying Resident Evil 2, because I just love it so much. I, I... Okay, I I have this on the note sheet. I crossed it out thinking we weren't going to get to it, but since we're here... Recently, the the RE2 remake was... It was announced that that was the best-selling game in the series now, was the RE2 remake. Probably, my opinion on this, is because it is the best game in the series, is RE2. Both the original and the remake are honestly the the best ones. I also think it's good. To be totally honest, I don't think the remake lives up to the original, but there's, it's still really good. So there you go. There's a little fun tidbit. RE2 remake is the best-selling Resident Evil now. You, you good, Rev? 
Oh, it's Rev's turn now. Yeah, I was like just waiting on my turn. Okay. I was like wondering if this little turn. segue was going to keep going. Or if... Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Rev's here and the car just goes... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we left her at the bus stop. It's fine. So, slow... <laughs> slows down and speeds off. <laughs> comes, just, just barely comes to a stop. You get up, you go to step no, on. No, no, it doesn't jump. even stop. No, no, it doesn't even stop. It just slows down so that it knows that you know it's there. And then once you know it's there, it speeds off. As Turtle mentioned earlier, Story of Seasons slash Harvest Moon, uh, yes, is one of my other favorite game series. Um, I'll probably never not buy the next Story of Seasons unless Marvelous Games starts making shitty games but that hasn't happened yet so yeah there's there's not a pokemon game that's not coming out that i'm not gonna buy uh, it's just not I'm, not Sime, on the other hand no nah, they fucked up nah. <laughs> they, yeah. they fucked up no um but the only thing i would change about story of seasons is better marriage candidates honestly <laughs> like they, more redheads they have not done a They've not done a good job uh, here with we that. Go. Can Despa go a podcast without talking about redheads? Nope. Because I don't think there's been one that he has not talked about a redhead. Uh, <laughs> I legitimately <laughs> do not think there has been one <laughs> podcast. <Surely there's. laughs> You've talked about Jill, Jill Valentine and one of them. Jill Valentine's not a redhead. Or not Jill Valentine. Claire What's Redfield. The Resident Evil? Claire Redfield. That's the one. You've talked about her in at least one or two of our podcasts. I mean, can you uh, blame? I'm pretty sure we've talked. To, pretty sure we've talked about Penny in one of the other ones. I mean, oh, <laughs> multiple times. Yeah. There's not a podcast that goes by where Despa can't talk about a redhead. Listen, <laughs> but, uh, can you blame me? Everybody's got a type. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, so here's here's the thing with the marriage candidates. Um, usually, they're pretty good with the female candidates, but like, there's never any really good guy candidates. They're all gross. <laughs> <laughs> I did watch you play that game, and I did watch you react to all the guys, and you're just like, ah. Well, okay, so the, the newest, the one I've played most recently is a remake um, of, a, of the first one that came out on GameCube, actual console, because the ones before that were on the Game Boy. Um... But uh, yeah, the, they didn't. They had really bad candidates for. Which one was it on? Color. So I might yeah. be able to play it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, they they just that one. They've progressively gotten a little better, but the most recent Story of Seasons game, which was Pioneers of Olive Town, still didn't have like super great options. You should play my time at Porsche where half of the male candidates are literally twins of each other. It's it's the same character model, but palette swap, the they're twins. No, I mean they got distinct okay. personalities for each one, but they all look the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's are, are you are you can marry the guy who actually straight up leaves you at some point? Oh my god. I think he's a marriage Ooh. candidate. I can't remember. Well, here's the thing, is like Stardew Valley even like I don't think I actually like any of the male candidates in Stardew Valley. None of them particularly appeal to me. You like uh uh Sebastian? Not really. She's just he's checking like, a box okay. on a checklist, really. It's <laughs> I'd make that sound so bad, but <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> Am I wrong though? Like, but no, I agree with you, Rev. They're not that great. They're not. It looks, even, I mean, even the girls, I Abigail, I like the most. Yay! But after Abigail, they just kind of. I mean, Penny and Leah are pretty good. I think. Leah, Leah's okay. Um, she's not bad. Mar Maru. Nah. Really, Maru. No, you said it right this time. And I'll Did say it wrong on Wednesday. <laughs> you're so you're so used to I'm saying so used it to wrong, it. Doki. <laughs> he so said I, it right. I'm so used to correcting him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to correcting his ass. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. 
Yes, you did, because I saw the look on your face. <sighs> because I thought you said it wrong again. I'm so used to correcting. <laughs> it's like this, was the thought in your head like, did he say it right? Do I need, I'll just correct him just in case. Because that's what the look on your face was. The, the look on my face is just like, why does he say, like, yeah, <laughs> like, why does he keep saying this one? <laughs> and I'm not even thinking which one was actually correct. And I wasn't even thinking. I'm just like, ah, oh, God damn it, Despa. God, he pulled a he pulled a rabbit season duck season on me. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell for it. Oh, oh my god. I I I I can never marry Maru because I think she's just too good. I'm not good enough for her. See, I don't think she's cute enough. Really? I think she's adorable. Yeah. Man, your voice got high pitched there. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Oh my god, I have like four different game series that are my favorite. I mean, my top, top favorite is Legend of Zelda, always will be. Um, Things I would change, though, I think the only thing I would really change about the recent games is just the uh, weapons or ability. I I hate that feature. Which which game was it? Breath of the Wild or the new one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I said that. I want to yes. talk about that. Rev, you hate or you dislike. Hate might be a strong word, but you dislike the weapon degradation. You and a lot of other people, myself included. But I was thinking part of me likes it because I, I kind of get what they were going for. They wanted to sort of not have you rely on the same things. They want you to keep you, stay on your toes, really, fighting the honestly limited selection of monsters in Breath of the Wild. I thought of a a system that might be better. It's weapon degradation, but there's three types of weapons. The first one is improvised weapons, which is like the stick, the club, rusted halberd, whatever you find lying around. And they function just like uh, they do now. The second type would be actual weapons. And they would be your sword, uh, halberd, regular halberd, spear, whatever. Instead of breaking, what they would do is they would do less damage over time, and that would be like the edge of the weapon getting dull. And if you want to return it to full sharpness, you could have a consumable item in the game in the form of a whetstone, or, and there was a Zelda that had one of these in it, I think it was linked to the past, you could take it to a blacksmith, and they could temper it, retemper it, and it would stay sharper longer. The third tier was like, I'm just calling it God tier weapons. And that would be like Master Sword, uh, all the unique weapons for each champion that always disappointed me. You'd get like Mifa's spear or whatever, and then it break. Ah, and they, they wouldn't lose their sharpness at all. They would basically just be broken. Not broken literally, but like broken in the balancing sense. They would just always work. What do you think of something like that? Interesting. Still not sure I like it, but I mean, it's interesting. Where I thought you were going to go with this was like when the item breaks, it would turn into like scrap materials that you could use to then rebuild something else. Nah, because that's too close to crafting. It is crafting. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) But you you don't. What's wrong with crafting? It's it's overused. There's too much crafting in the gaming world. It's a basic game mechanic. It is a basic game mechanic, but so many games do it that don't need to. But this would be a good usage. But this would be a good usage of a broken item compared to just losing it as a whole. It wouldn't be the worst usage, but I also think the idea of certain ones breaking and certain weapons doing less damage over time is better. And I, I would probably balance it out by making it so that the ones that don't break are very, very rare. Fair. I don't know. It was just an idea I was spitballing. I, I don't see why crafting in a Zelda game would be such a bad idea, though. <laughs> It's not necessarily a bad idea. I just think it's over. Didn't wasn't there a Zelda that did it? I I couldn't tell you. I will say in one of the Pokemon games, I don't know if it's just one or if it's more of them, but one in particular, there was there was a crafting system. You'd be able to make Pokeballs out of apricorns. Oh yeah. How does that even work? You take the wood of the apricorn. Not an acorn, an apricorn. It it's not it's not the same thing. I, I know. Yeah. I, but like, what is an apricorn? It's a game specific fruit. And how thing. exactly it's does that transform a Pokemon to energy and then store it? Game logic. The Apricorn itself doesn't make the entire Pokeball. <laughs> it's what the Pokeball is made out of. 
this is Pokemon. You're questioning it? I know, like, I shouldn't have logic, but... The different apricorns are what gives the Pokeball its properties, like if it's a fastball, a heavy ball. That's fair. It doesn't give the mechanics of the Pokeball, it just gives it whatever property it has. I learned so much today. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> On this episode of How It's Made, Pokeballs. <laughs> yeah. Apricots. Apricorns. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Breaking, breaking, you good? breaking news, breaking news. I have yeah, just, breaking, breaking. I have just checked my email and that is all. Um, no, 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 no. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> did, you just, did you just inherit a million dollars from your uh, Nigerian prince relative you didn't know you have? I freaking <laughs> wish. <laughs> that would be great. Uh, no. So remember, there was a game I wanted to add. Well, I just happened to look at my email and I am now in the beta, the closed beta. Hooray me. Uh, the, the game I... Hooray. Yeah, Stardew it. MMO is how they're kind of setting it up. It looks really adorable. And I, I'm going to download it tonight and play it tomorrow. It's going to be great. It, the best... I want to describe how they're kind of setting things up with the trailer. It looks like a combination of Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, with a touch of Breath of the Wild in it. I hate it when games compare themselves to Breath in the Wild. I, they're not doing it. I'm doing it. People did that with Pokemon uh, Legends Arceus. It ruins like, oh, it's supposed to be like Breath of the Wild. No, it's not. It's supposed to be like an open world Pokemon game. They're, they're, they're not doing that. I'm doing that. They're, they're not really I, directly saying it. Uh, How do you spell that? P-A-L-I-A. -A. Ref's like, I'm interested. Go on. <laughs> It, it's right up your alley. Is it not on Steam? Not yet. No. I think they're going to add it later. It's in a beta, so it's, it's not up there yet, probably. Closed Google beta now. I think open beta begins on the 10th. Oh! Didn't Nintendo have this on Nintendo Direct? Maybe. I can't remember. I think they did, because I think I saw it and was interested. You remember how I complained about Stardew Valley and other games like it where I have to go to bed by 2 a.m.? Yeah, they don't. They're not going to make me do that in this game. There's no bedtime. Oh, great. We'll never get him back from the bar now. <laughs> <laughs> There's also no combat, but you can go hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nintendo did have this in their direct. So I'm going to be downloading that tonight. Uh, open beta is on the 10th. You might want to go ahead and sign up now, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I am. Two. I'm gonna. She's gonna. So, yeah. Let's see. So Greetings, Desperado. We are thrilled to welcome you to the Palia Closed Beta. This email marks the beginning of your enchanting journey. Blah, blah, blah. There's some other stuff here. And a big blue button that says play now. That's for credit card information. No. They ain't getting it. Or if, if I gave them credit card, it'll be a virtual credit card. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we have managed to squeeze one hour, five minutes recording time. We did. Impressive. So I how long does our <coughs> podcast typically go? Uh, right an we hour. We usually record about an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of want to stop it now, so I don't have to do too much of editing, and I can spend more time playing Palia, and of course Stardew tomorrow. But <laughs> does uh oh yeah that's right <laughs> Stardew is tomorrow as well. Does anybody we else do. have anything? Which uh I want to talk to you, Rev and Doki, about that when we log off. Sure. Mm. One oh, quick thing. One one quick thing. Um. So speaking of story of seasons, Marvelous Games announced that they are finally working on a multiplayer story of seasons game, and I am stoked. I'm so excited. Sounds pretty marvelous. It is marvelous. Yes, but you got a referral code. We are getting. Oh, I'll give that to y'all off the uh, thing. Ah! Uh, no, I already hit the submit button. It's okay. What, so You'll get a code too. It doesn't seem to have taken, so it's okay. You'll get a code too that you can share so, with your friends. Are we doing like a final thoughts thing right now? Um, I think salutations. Salutations. Well, then anybody else so have anything that uh, we'd well. like to talk okay, about before we finish? Uh, Baldur's Gate is great. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Fantastic. Cross yeah. code is amazing. Like D &D. Yeah. It's all it's all D&D. Freaking turtle Dr. Seuss over there. Uh, Diablo's pretty mid. Path of Exile 2 is going to be better. Um, games. G games. Yes. Games. <laughs> They're great. It's, it reminds me of like one of those knockoff Chinese t-shirts you can order from like those less reputable sites where it just says games. <laughs> <laughs>
Or sports. I have 47 perfect games now. So we're, we're, get, we're getting up there. Actually, one quick thing talking about perfect games, which I've actually accomplished. So at the beginning of the year, I set out myself a goal. One thing I really sucked at is actually doing perfect games. And I had three going into the year, and I decided, hey, I want to do six this year, which I have achieved that goal. So I'm really Great. happy with myself, including, including some harder games like Fallout 4, I've actually 100%ed. And Fallout I feel like New I've Vegas. I have helped you with some of them. Yes, with Raft, you did. The Raft is another one of my 100%s. I don't have 100% wow. in Raft yet, actually. I have 100% I, in Raft. I, I, I still need to get 100% in Raft. But the one I was thinking about, like, was what? Gone Home and Amanda the Adventurer? Oh, Amanda the Adventurer, Gone Home. Yeah. Oh, well, Gone Home, I haven't 100% yet. I actually got to work on that. I've only. Does Gone Home even have achievements? Yes. It does. It does? Okay. It does. But the ones I have 100%ed, let me pull up my Steam just so you all know, see what we're talking about it. To the Moon, Imposter Factory, Finding Paradise. Yeah. They only have one achievement, anyways. It's finished the yeah, game. Yeah, but. 10 perfect games. So I'm at 10. So I've actually done seven. So Fall 4, Raft, New Vegas, Fallen Order, Unpacking, Finding Paradise, To the Moon, Imposter Factory, Amanda the Adventurer, and A Bird Story. All 100%. So I'm actually kind of proud of that because I set that goal for a year long goal and I hit it in seven months. Yeah, some of those are big games. So like that's good. Fall, yeah, like Fall, like Raft was 104 achievements, Fall 4 is 84 achievements, New Vegas, 75 achievements. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order is only 39 achievements, but some of them were really hard to do. I will, uh, some of them were fun to do, like, you know, force throwing stormtroopers off cliffs. That's just fun. Who doesn't want to, f- who doesn't want to force push a stormtrooper off a freaking cliff? He had a family and a dog. Nope. <laughs> This problem. <laughs> I need to do more raft to get the rest of those achievements because there's a bunch I don't have, especially those stupid birds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I do have to go, guys. I've got work. Okay, yeah, I'm okay. gonna have to go as well. So let's go ahead and finish let's wrap up this up. I think we can just uh, say our goodbyes and all. Okay. Everybody, follow us okay. on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, X, yep, Spotify, Spotify. yeah, X. Leave Facebook. a review. Yes. Um. Twitch. Only fans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm not on there. Sorry. Um, no, I mean, no. So the real chaos happens. <laughs> yeah. uh, TLC after dark. <laughs> I mean, we always record this in the dead of night. That's what I'm getting at there. Okay. Rev's got to go to work. Nyra's got to go to bed. No. I don't, are you going to bed no, right now? No, I got to put laundry on, but I got to also see what's going on with something. So. Oh, I was going to say. Turtle uh, just woke well, up. Goodbye, everybody from Doki. Goodbye from Despa. Goodbye, Despair. everyone from Naira. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.